Here's the five things you need to get started cheap and easy. Number one, you need some plants. You can either go up to your local nursery and just get your starter plants, come in these trays. You can have to pull them out, rinse off the roots. And since you don't have any pumps um, in your system, you're not gonna have to worry about getting all of the dirt off. So just get most of it off. So you can do that or you do like I do, and grow microgreens. This is bok choy. I love this stuff. Sit that up there. Um, if you grow your microgreens, you're growing plants that you can eat. And then you can also come in here and every time you need a little transplant, just pull one out. Set him down there. Rinse it off a little, and he's ready to go. So this is by far the easiest way because you need to be growing your microgreens anyway so you can eat them, throw in your juices, your smoothies, on your salads, your basil rolls. Um, they're just really cool. So grow some microgreens, grow different kinds, and then whenever you have an open spot, you don't have to run up to the nursery and go buy some more plants. You'll just come out here and pull you another one of these guys out. set them down there for a minute and then you got another plant going so number one you need some plants all right look at the roots yeah i can see it keely i'm trying to film <laughs> <laughs> number two you need some fertilizer um we'll go into this a little later that's what I use, Master Blend Tomato Formula, uh, the 41838, and you also need calcium nitrate and a little Epsom salt, which comes in the grocery store. This is lasting me about five years, and this is all of the plants that I'm doing. You're probably not going to start doing that much, so Master Blend actually has a little small kit that has some of this formula, the calcium nitrate and Epsom salts, everything you need in a little kit that uh, will do like 240 gallons. And when you're talking, this is only three quarts, you know, you're gonna be able to do about, you know, over 250 of those with that one kit. So I'll link that down below. You probably wanna get started with that. As you work your way up, then you get something like that. Let me go make me a smoothie. I'm gonna get me some baby kale. Okay, go ahead. Stevia, you wanna know show? You're probably going to make my focus go in and out, but... <laughs> Number three, you're going to need a container. And let me set him down here. I started with like these, just Sterilite containers. This little shoebox container you find in Walmart, Target, whatever, and spray paint it black. And some of the other videos, you'll see why you spray paint it black is to, to keep the algae from growing too much inside. Um, if you don't like a bunch of black containers, we spray painted this one black and then painted it yellow so that's nice and pretty. And it's not just a black container, but it still keeps the algae out. This is a waste basket. Just bought that for $3 at the dollar store. It holds three gallons. And of course, you've seen our downspout. Comes to about $4 for that little section. You can do that. Here's some more containers. But if you really want to go cheap, move these microgreens out of the way. There we go. This is uh, it's our jugs from our drinks. This was my uh, Almond Breeze. And I'm pretty sure Almost every household has this, it, not exactly this one, but you've got almond breeze, soy milk, um, 
you've got that one had that one had tea in it there's uh orange juice containers so these were going in recycling these are free you know you can spend money and buy a couple of these but if you just want to get started and you don't want to waste any money you know in case maybe you you don't enjoy it um go ahead and use something that you've already got instead of this going to recycling or worse yet back to the landfill um just use those this is uh, i just took the top off and uh use my hole saw or your dremel tool whatever you've got and just cut a little two inch hole on the top and you're in business some of these mouths are wide enough that you don't even have to cut you can just open up and just use them just like they are so that's number three you need a container sure cool thank you that's my juice basically my garden on my porch with a little ice and uh, we drink that every morning number four you need something to hold your plant and I was using these styrofoam I was just cutting a little styrofoam the little hole that I cut out of there I just poked a hole in it to hold my plant that way it can come in and out I was doing that, then I found these. It's a pool noodle. Y'all know what that is. It was at the dollar store for one dollar. And I just sliced right through there with a hacksaw blade. Like I said, check out one of the other videos. You got 48 out of this one. So one dollar, 48 of them, it's two cents a piece. And let's see show you what we did here we can take those and you cut them slice them off they're just a little big you need some way to get your plant in there I just cut a little section out it's about that big and that squeezes down where it fits inside one of these cups now your holes a little big there if you're going and getting transplants about this big if you're getting transplants from your nursery and that's fine just like that and you just take that and then your transplant will fit right in there if you're using microgreens these little babies you know that's a little bit big for it flops around so just cut a piece of that foam that you just cut out of there Put that in there. You might have to trim it a little bit, but make sure you just have a small hole. And look, this is how easy it is. Remember I just pulled those out of there. It's got the little roots attached at the bottom. Leave the leaves up above the top. Get you tight. See the roots coming out the bottom there? Leaves on the top. It's that easy. You know, I just I just planted a plant. And it's nice and tender. And then all you do is just, wherever you've got an empty hole, toss that in there. Or, you can go this route. Bypass the cup. Save you another two cents. And, see that's just our microgreen in there. Squeeze it up. Make sure it's a little bit bigger than the hole. And then just squeeze it in there. And that's going to hold on. And you don't even need the cup. So, if you've got a free container, two cents for that. And probably not even, you know, pennies for, for your plant. If you're growing the microgreens, you know, a couple pennies for that. So, you're, you're, once you get your fertilizer, you know, you're basically all set. And you're going to be growing plants all over your porch. So, like I said, you know, it's just... It really is just that easy. I've got my other little babies down here that I pulled out. There you go. It's another one. So I'll take those guys and set them in. I've got a, an empty spot or two in the downspout behind of you. So that's number one. You need your plants. 
Number two, your fertilizer. Number three, you need a container. And number four, you need something to hold the plants. And the last thing, number five, is you need patience. You might do this one, two, three times and they might die or they might get going about this stage and something eats them. There's, there's all kinds of things that can happen. Your environment's different than mine. You might be in a cooler environment and it might just flourish. You know, I'm dealing with 95 degree heat right now. Um, you might be on the other side of the world somewhere where, you know, it's, it's still kind of cold in that. So, so your environment's a little different. It's going to take a little bit of time. So have patience, um, experiment with it. If you're going this route, you're talking about, you know, you know, loose change that you can find in your couch. You know, you're not, you're not spending a whole lot of money on this. Uh, go and experiment. You're going to have a ball and, you know, take some pictures and show me. If you have any problems, email me at keepongrowing1 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description. You know, I try to answer everybody's emails. Um, but that's what you need, five things, and you can get started growing your own leafy greens. So keep on growing. Pretty cool. All right, get out there and grow something.